Well, you've seen us print the Mandalorian armor, but how's the Mandalorian going to get around? Join me today as we print the Razor Crest as a model. See you guys inside. Hello and welcome to today's model. As I said, we are printing the Razor Crest. We're going to make a model of it. And this model that found on Thingiverse is really cool because there's two ways you can print this one. You can print it as just one giant ship, which is what we're going to do today. Or you can print this in sections and actually make this model a toy, which is really cool for, to see such modularity in the model. So let's get over to the PC. Let's get the model downloaded and let's get that thing sliced. See you over at the computer. Hey guys, all right, we are at the computer, and as you can see, I've got the model pulled up. This thing looks amazing. I want to credit Fine Engineer. This is a fantastic model because not only can you print just the whole ship as one model, he made it modular to where you can print this and make it actually into a toy with the doors opening. You can even put figures in the cockpit and just make these ships, and it looks like he's made some others that you can do too. It's a good size, modular. I mean, you can print it in pieces, but today we're doing the full print. We're just going to print it one big chunk. It won't have opening doors or any of that. I'm printing it as a model. So let's get this downloaded, which I've already done. And I want to show you guys the files. <laughs> there are so many files in here that you can do all the pieces with, which is awesome. But we're going to do the complete. So I'm going to launch Cure here. And as you can see, when you open it up and put it on, this is my CR-10. This thing's huge. So... We're going to get this zeroed up. I'm going to shrink this by, I think I did 50%. Nah, it's too much, but we'll fix that in a minute. And I rotated mine and printed upward. So I printed mine straight up like that. We'll set that back to zero. We'll roll back a little bit. Yeah, I shrunk it down too much. I think maybe 75% is what I did. Yep, that's what I did. Because in order to achieve, well, maybe I didn't. Uh, maybe I did 60. Yeah, I did 65. That looks more right. We'll get that zero down on the plate and we'll go to our view, camera position, front view. So that's what it looks like. But pretty sure I rotated mine like that so that it would fit better on the bed. No, don't do that. That's not what I told you to do. And I zeroed it. There we go. So it fits really nice on the bed. And let's go over here and check our support. Temperatures are at 215. Infill density, nah, 10%, if even that's needed. But we'll do it just in case. Uh, infill, temperatures look right. What's our support? Uh, let's do 80% on the support. Let's slice it, see what we got. That way we can get this thing ready to go to the printing table. But I think it's really cool that you can do this in all those pieces too. Um, if you guys are interested in seeing that built in multiple pieces, you know, leave that comment down below. Say, yeah, I want to see it. Or can you? Um, just to see what it's done. Because this looks like an awesome toy for a child. Um, again, if you're liking what you see on the channel too while we end on the slice, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, join the crew, help us out. And, uh, you know, Join us as we keep doing this kind of stuff. Some of the things coming up on the channel, Mandalorian Rifle. Um, I have been printing that bad boy. Uh, it is a lot of prints. Warhammer stuff is coming to the channel. And we're going to be adding in, you know, there's always more Star Trek. Um, Babylon 5 will probably be hitting here before too long. And also we'll be doing some videos on just what to do for Christmas for the 3D printing nerd. So, or 3D printing guy or gal or person that wants to do 3D printing, where to start, what to buy, where you can buy it, and if there's even going to be any good deals, because this is a prime time to get into it. Five days and 19 hours to print that. Now, just remember, that's more Microsoft time. It may take longer. I, took, I think mine took six and a half days. So, save that to the file. We're going to get this guy sent over to the printer, and we're going to be ready to rock and roll. So, giant... Guys, I hope you enjoy the time lapse and we will see you on the other side.
All right, guys, there is the print. So we got the razor craft, but razor crest, sorry. But now comes the fun part. We got to get the support off. So there's really only really two ways to do this. It's anywhere decent. So I'm going to start just wiggling back and forth. You can hear it cracking. Your support really should pop off this easy. Um, if not, you've got you need to definitely look at your cure settings for your support because it should pop off nice and easy. And there we go. So there was a few little black spots that appeared in my print that was due to I guess filament getting stuck on my print head. But all in all, there she is. Nice clean razor crest model. guys that's the razor crest printed and just for a size comparison this guy came out pretty good size model i mean it's got great detail great for a shelf or anything but also like i said you can print it in the toy mode too and make the action figure that fits in there um because it had this opens up for the action figure the bay doors will open this back center section is all hollow so you can put the baby in there and all that kind of stuff but all in all it is a really cool model for the size um this took me about three maybe four days to print in this current configuration with uh i think i did 25 percent infill so i hope you guys enjoyed this video hit that like button hit that subscribe button make sure to join the crew as we look at more and stick tuned as one of the upcoming videos we are working on more of the mandalorian armor with looking at his pulse rifle so we'll see you guys later thanks